obviously, I just need you to call the police if you see anything. A renewed plea from a Columbus family tonight as a desperate search for their baby boy continues. Kassan Thomas has now been missing for more than 24 hours after the vehicle he and his twin brother were in was stolen from a Donato's in the short north, prompting a statewide Amber Alert. Kayer Thomas, the twin brother, was found wrapped in a quilt in a car seat nearly half an hour away in Dayton this morning. Still no sign, though, of Kassan. We do have a new picture of Kassan tonight. Take a close look at your screen. This photo was released by the family late today. Kassan is just five months old. Brown hair, brown eyes. Now, the suspect Columbus police are searching for is 24-year-old Nala Jackson, who you see on your screen. CPD says she is five feet, seven inches tall, weighs 130 pounds. The stolen vehicle is a black Honda Accord with the torn temporary tag M965246. It's in the rear window. It does have a white bumper sticker on the rear that says West Side City Toys. Police were originally notified at 945 last night. They were called to the Donatos in the short north. By 1030, all police departments were alerted in the area and the search of Jackson's former addresses and homeless camps began. The first Amber Alert was sent out a little after 1.30 this morning. One child, as we said, Kyer, was found a few hours later in Dayton at about 4.15 in the morning. Nala Jackson was seen overnight at a United Dairy Farmers in Huber Heights near Dayton. These are photos of her. We will show you. You see one right here at the counter and then also outside of the car at a gas pump. Then between 1 and 3 a.m. she was spotted between the spotted at rather the park and go in Vandalia that's near Dayton International Airport. Workers at UDF and the park and go say if the Amber Alert had been issued sooner, they would have taken action. There was just something about her that just it just didn't seem right. You know, it was, it was kind of weird. Maybe we could have done something. And uh, I know between James and I, uh, we definitely would have done something if we would have known. She was more than happy to sit here and chat with us, so we could have we could have held her here for 10 or 15 minutes while somebody snuck away and made a phone call. Teams with the Columbus Division of Police are working around the clock to try to get Kassan home safely. NBC4's Eric Halperin is outside police headquarters tonight. Eric, it's an urgent search, but it's been underway now, as we know, for many hours. And Colleen, they want the public's help too. If you see the baby, the suspect, the car, they want you to call police. At this point, this baby has now been away from his family for an, more than an entire day. Police, family, and friends want all eyes on the lookout for five-month-old Kassan Thomas and 24-year-old Nala Jackson, the suspect in the abduction. The baby has now been away from his parents for more than 24 hours. Honestly, I just need you to call the police if you see anything. Kassan's father, Lachez, again asking for the public's help. He's been out since Monday night looking for his baby. He says there are no words for what it would mean to have his baby back in his arms. Oh, yeah, strong boy. Just keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> Hard, not that hard to spot out. After finding out what was going on, the Doc Ellis Foundation reached out to the Thomas family to help. We are all asking that you return our precious baby boy and Kyer's twin home to his lovely family unharmed. No parent should ever have to live this nightmare not knowing the whereabouts or condition of their child. Harry Trombitis is a retired FBI special agent who's worked kidnapping cases. He's also a member of Ohio's Amber Alert Advisory Committee. From a, a safety of the, the child, um, you know, it, it, the baby's in grave danger. There's no question about that. He says the situation becomes more concerning as more time passes. While not directly involved in this case, he says based on his experience, police all over the state and other states are working on this. I'm just, again, hoping and praying that, you know, either she realizes, you know, uh, the gravity of what she's done and and gets that baby to a hospital or turns it into, you know, a police or fire station uh, as soon as possible uh, because, again, this baby's life depends on it and no, no parent should ever have to go through this. 
investigators say no piece of information is too small. If you have any information, you're asked to call Columbus Police, and that number is on our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4. Eric, thank you. And of course, NBC4 has been following the story since it broke last night. We're going to have continuing coverage. You can go to our website, NBC4i.com. We will keep you up to date. You can also get alerts about this story as it develops by downloading the free NBC4 News app.